Kyle Katarn here, reacting to Star Wars Rebels, Season 4, Episode 13, World Within Worlds. So Episode 12 was crazy, we got the Emperor back, voiced by Ian McDiarmid, which is amazing. And now Sabine's been captured by this minister, and Ezra is monkeying around inside the temple. Alright, that's enough talking, let's go. Holy shit, Yoda. Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan. Right out of the gate with this shit. Some twin sons. The wolves stopped. Portals closed. Where the hell is this place? This isn't the temple. Oh my god, that's Alec Guinness. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. That's Malcolm McDowell. That's totally Malcolm McDowell. I couldn't figure it out last episode, Sacrament. and I'm a little sh a little ashamed. It's no wonder you took such an interest in the paintings from the temple. I'm flattered. I would never. Low key, she totally is flattered, though. But more a, a critic, Caleb Doom, whichever. Such a pity he chose the path he did and fell to such a meaningless end. Hey, you watch your mouth. But you're just a pawn. Ray? Was that Ray? That's Maz Kanata. Leia, holy shit, man! I uh, I can't handle this. Yeah, whenever. Oh, that's the daughter. You were always close by. What is this? What are you showing me? What are we... Oh, no fucking way! It's Ahsoka? Twilight of the Apprentice. It can't be. No way. No! No! Fuck! Baloney, if you're about to make me watch her die, I swear to God. Ahsoka! Holy shit! He fucking saves her! What? Oh my god. I can't handle this. <laughs> this minister's been watching the Clone Wars. Is that really her? Or is it like a vision of her? I think that's really fucking her. I think he just pulled her out of there. Wait. What happened? Oh my god. Where am I? You were fighting Vader. Morai. You're here. Morai? She's an old friend. I owe her my life. And now I owe you that. That's right, the daughter resurrected her on Mortis after she died. How did you get here? I can stop Kanan from dying. You don't know that. Yes, I do. If I can change your fate, I can change his. Here we go. Kanan coming back? If he's taken out of this moment, you all die. That's true. You don't understand what you're asking me to do. That scene is never not gonna hurt. I'm sorry, Ezra. I can't go with you. Perhaps I can. Oh, fuck! That ain't no hologram, that's really him. Oh my god, hearing Ian, he, hearing Ian McDermott say those names as a completist, that's just so satisfying for some reason. Come on, hurry. Minister, something's happening to the portal. Huh. I know that language too. Sorry about the mess. Well, that was someone knocking on my door for a second. Oh. Oh, nice. You're just tipping the whole fucking container. 
Holy shit! That's awesome. That's a whole new force ability. He's not using. That's not lightning. That's fire. Oh, Palpatine is so cool. Are you all right? Yeah, it's not coming from him. It's coming from that. Oh, it is coming from him. Weird. Go! Nice. Uh, not safe yet. Keep going, keep going. better we need you we need more Jedi now now where is she may the force be with you holy shit she's back on more band this is the end of season two there's the doorway <sighs> Filoni you madman he planned this out all in advance. Go, 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 go! Yes! That was really lucky timing that they happened to be at the portal at that moment. No! We have to seal the portal. This whole Imperial excavation is very like Indiana Jones. I'm really digging it. Pounded. <laughs> Sam Whitwer, glad you could make it. This is nuts. This is so strange, and I love it. Quickly, move closer to it. What have they done? Knowledge. Everything will be lost. Oh, well, well, there he goes. It's gonna be close. That's too bad. He was actually kind of a fascinating character. Ooh. You better not end. The force will be with you. Always. If this is what you and Kanan used to do on your Jedi missions, you can keep it. <laughs> Where's Hera? She's outside. Ezra, you gotta see. Whoa. Where are we? Temple. What? That's all that's left. Where? I mean, how? You tell me. Oh, she's like with Kanan in her head. He's gone now, isn't he? I mean, really gone. Yes. Yeah, he is.
This episode was insane. It was so fucking good. Oh my god. Ahsoka lives, motherfucker. I have theorized on this channel a couple times in the past that Ahsoka was dead, and being wrong has never felt so good. Going back, when she returns, that doorway is the same one we see her walk through in the season 2 finale. Meaning at that time, she already knew everything that we now know. God damn, that was insane. We heard so many voices. So many voices. Let's see. There was Jin, Kanan, Qui-Gon, Maul, um, Obi-Wan. James Arnold Taylor's Obi-Wan and Alec Guinness, Maz Kanata, Kylo Ren, Rey, Princess Leia, probably more. Let me know in the comments below if I missed any voices. Those are all the ones that I was able to hear. Malcolm McDowell did an awesome job as the minister. Um, I was actually a little sad to see that character go because he was so interesting to me. We don't get a whole lot of academic type Imperial characters that are non-military. You know, I would have liked to know more about where that guy was from. Top-notch voice work from Ian McDermott, and uh, that blue flame ability was pretty badass, too. Um, I like to imagine he's standing in some dark Sith chamber on the Imperial Palace with that, you know, big goblet of blue flames just cackling into a mirror. Very Voldemort-esque. So Ezra Bridger crossed the bridge of time and space and saved Ahsoka. See what you did there, Filoni. Don't get me wrong, I was very impressed and blown away by this episode, but I'm still not sure how I feel about the implications of bringing time travel into Star Wars. Historically, time travel can be the kiss of death for a TV series. A good example being Lost, or, uh, you know, the latest season of Game of Thrones. And before all the haters get excited, I love Game of Thrones, okay? I fucking love Game of Thrones. Season 7 was like a downhill race, okay? This episode was absolutely crazy. It was a good final send-off for Kanan Jarrus, the Jedi Knight. I have no idea where the story's gonna go from here. I really don't. I had so many theories going into the second half of season four here, and at this point, they've all fallen by the wayside already. Not really sure what we have in store for us next, but I cannot wait to find out. We've only got one set of episodes left. I don't want it to end, man. I just want it to keep going. This reaction has been edited for time to comply with YouTube's fair use copyright policy. To check out the full-length, unedited reaction, head on over to patreon.com slash kylekatarn. For full length reactions and some other cool stuff too. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more awesome Star Wars content. Leave me a comment if you have a question or something to say, and as always, may the Force be with you.